Hi everybody, it's Miss Talon and I'm going to read to you one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books, Oh, the Places You'll Go. This book to me is about life. If you'll remember when we watched the video about the five fascinating facts about Dr. Seuss, we learned that he liked to include real life things into his books. Well, this one to me talks about all the things that we experience in life. So here we go. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go, which is so true, isn't it? We make our decisions about what we want to do in life. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. And some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good streets. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be on your way up, you'll see great sights, you'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch your gang will fly on and you'll be left in a lurch. Do you ever feel like that sometimes that you're left all by yourself? I know I do. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. It's hard when we feel sad sometimes to kind of get ourselves out of that sad state. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly are darked. A place could be spraying both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite. Or go around back and sneak in from behind. Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, towards a most unpleasant place. The waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a place to go or mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting for a yes or a no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for the wind to fly a kite or waiting around for Friday night or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find great places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go, there is such fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won, and the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be, 
with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something. You'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't to go on. You ever get scared sometimes when you don't know what's going to happen next? I do. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go through the hack and cracks cow. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you will hike far and face up your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot and your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will succeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxom or Bixie or Bray or Modest Little Alley Van Allen O'Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Like I said, that is one of my favorite books because it kind of just shows that sometimes we are flying high and things are good and sometimes things are not so good. But life always changes. We keep moving and we keep changing and we keep persevering towards what we want our goals to be.